the digestive system of chickens contains bacteria, enzymes, and certain pH conditions that are very helpful in the feed, digestion, and absorption of the nutrients. If we can be able to increase these good bacteria and enzymes and also modify these pH conditions, this will lead to increased productivity in layers, broilers, and also in the indigenous chicken. That is why in today's video, I am going to discuss how fermenting poultry feeds for your chickens will help boost growth performance and egg production in your poultry farm. I will also give you proven reasons why you should start fermenting feeds for your chicken. I will also give you the benefits of these fermented feeds to, to your chickens and finally tell you how to make these fermented feeds and the precautions that you are supposed to take as you feed them to the chicken. The precautions are very useful. Therefore, make sure that you stick with me up to the end of this video so that you can be able to get the full information. It takes a lot of time, energy and also money to compile this information and to present it to you. Therefore, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video. Also, if you like this video and if you find value in this video, make sure that you hit the like button. How does fermented feeds help your chickens and why should a poultry farmer ferment feeds for his or her chicken? Number one is that fermentation helps in production of probiotics, good bacteria and also yeast which play an important role in creating an optimum environment in the digestive system of the birds for the feed to be digested properly and for the nutrients to be absorbed in the correct way and this will help to boost egg laying for example in the layers and also increased weight gain in the broilers. Number two is that fermentation helps to remove toxic chemicals like the phytic acid which are found in the grains. This helps to make the nutrients more available for absorption and utilization in the digestive system of the chickens. Number three is that when feed is fermented, the bacteria involved in the fermentation process, especially the lactic acid bacteria, helps to break down the feeds. Therefore, are making more nutrients available for the birds to easily absorb them and utilize them and this will help to boost productivity. Number four is that uh, fermented feeds helps to balance the acidity in the digestive system of the birds. This helps to promote digestion, absorption and neutralization of toxins uh, that may be found in the feeds. Number five is that fermenting feeds makes nutrients more available to the chickens and this lowers feed requirements. This means that the chickens will grow and produce normally despite eating a less amount of feeds because they are able to utilize most of the nutrients of the feeds that they are given. Number six is that fermentation helps to kill harmful bacteria that may be in the feeds due to the presence of the lactic acid. Lactic acid is lethal to the bad bacteria that cause infection and diseases in chickens. How are these fermented feeds going to make you profitable? Number one is that fermenting the feeds help the chickens to fully utilize the nutrients that are in the feeds. It also helps uh, to improve digestibility and feed absorption. This in turn will lead to increased weight gain, for example, if it's for the broilers, and also it improves laying in the layer chicken. Number two is that fermented feeds boost intestinal health and kills the bad bacteria. And this helps to improve uh, immunity. Therefore, therefore, your chickens will not be affected by some of the illnesses like coccidiosis because this acid that is found in the in the feeds will help to eliminate the bad bacteria. Also, there will be fewer deaths because uh, the immunity of the chicken will be boosted. Number three is that after fermenting the feeds, the feed particles usually increase in size and therefore this means that you are going to use a lesser amount of feeds than the one that you use 
when um, the feeds are not fermented. Number four is that fermented feeds provide and preserve vitamins and minerals that are found in grains. For example, the B vitamins like the folic acid, the riboflavin, and the niacin. Also, the fermented feeds makes proteins more available in the chicken's digestive system due to presence of enzymes to, that are used to break down these proteins into utilizable amino acids. The fifth uh, way of how these fermented feeds are going to help you is that they help to increase the egg weight and also the eggshells will become thicker. And if you have an egg that have more weight and have a good shell that is not breaking, this will help to boost your profits because you're going one, you're, you're going to win the market. And number two is that um, the eggs will not break therefore you are going to eliminate losses which come are due to breakage of eggs how are you going to ferment uh, the feeds for your chickens uh, first of all feed to be fermented can be in cramps can be pellets grains mash or even mesh any form of feed can be used for fermentation the procedure is very easy number one you are going to put the feed that you want to ferment in a container preferably a bucket number two you're going to add water until the feed is fully submerged into the water up to two inches this means that the water level should rise above the feeds up to two inches number three is that you're going to cover now the bucket with a lid and leave the mixture for three to five days stir the mixture twice or thrice per day to help incorporate air into the mixture which helps to increase the fermentation process due to incorporation of oxygen number four when feeding strain the water out and feed the chicken the fermented feeds another thing is that if you see the bubbles on the surface this is an indication that the feed has started to ferment and also the smell of fermentation will also be easily identified and you're going to know that uh, your feeds have fermented now here are some important precautions that you should take as you are fermenting your feeds number one it is advis advisable to start by fermenting 60 percent of the total dairy feeds do not start with fermenting all the feeds uh, for your chicken number two use non-chlorinated water because uh, the chlorine that is found in the chlorine treated water kills the bacteria that are responsible for fermentation Number three, feeds should be fermented in terms of dairy batches to prevent the growth of mold. Uh, this means that fermented feeds should be fed in a span of one day. Number four is that feeders should be washed daily to prevent the risk of molds in feeds which cause a diseases like mycotoxicosis which is a disease caused by fungi toxin number five another important precaution is that avoid using metallic feeders because the acid in the fermented feeds can corrode the metal leading to metal poisoning number six and most importantly is that you can add some water whenever necessary make sure that you hit the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know the, the organic treats that you can use to treat all types of coughs in your flock